Hello and welcome to Uncommon Starcraft Into the Forge, episode 53. I'm your host, Casey, and today we're going to get a little bit better at Starcraft. So, mm, top three issues. Game volume, map presence, and sticking to a build order. Even my build orders are just build openers, but even something as simple as doing my double Widow Mind Drop in, in uh, TVP, I get distracted from a harass and, and get off course. So, focusing on that, and I'm going to continue to try to talk a little more during these videos to bring more value, more more entertainment value to it. It brings more people in and gives me more commentary. So I said that yesterday, and uh, it didn't happen. I, I think I opened and I was talking about my Reaper, uh, and then I got super focused again and just right in there. So we're going to try it again today, because... Why not? Why not? Self-improvement. On all levels. So, move everything over. Let's hit this button. Get our serious... Uh, serious headphones on. Hmm. I scroll down a bit on my notes. Looks like we found a game. It is a TVP double widow mind drop. That'll be success in this game if I can stick to the build order. And we'll try to do some good replay analysis on this one. Arena, so I expect something quick. Maybe even something cheeky. Maybe something cheeky. Not enough minerals. Not enough news. Let's do it. Ready. Let's go. Oh. So, got that first SCV over here. I I'm just kind of warming up with my uh, two behind. I think that's not actually two behind. But gas, get that gas quick. Another SCP comes about this time, and then, there we go, I, then I can queue up the SCP to build the expansion. So now I've got to keep the SCPs producing up to 19, pay attention to the gas, and get some nice, get some well-timed SCPs on that gas. I haven't seen my opponent yet, nothing too weird. There he is. I don't like you. I really don't like SCVs. So there we go. SCV ready. Insufficient best being gas. I'm just gonna follow him around, make sure nothing crazy happens. Doesn't look like he can micro, and that gives me a little bit of an advantage. Doesn't look like he wants to pay attention to that drone. Yep, that's what I thought. What is not properly placed. Not enough minerals. So we'll have to lift up. So county pylons, right? That's the goal here. Not enough minerals. Crazy. He is one basing me. Add on complete. Twenty-six. So I have to hold on just long enough to make some of mines get my drops going. Okay.
upgrade complete. Yep. In the rear with the gear. Yep. All right, I can do this. All right, so I feel pretty good. Let me uh, just do a quick scout over here. Get you going. Supply depot. Go, go, go. Ah. Not you want a piece of me, boy? What's going? Additional supply depots required. Not enough energy. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Alright. So not enough not enough energy. Go ahead and run you across here. Let's make sure he doesn't have a third. Not I'm just about to push. I'm gonna have to. I'm just out of Mineral field depleted. Not enough minerals. This better be good. Hear me. Ready for dust off. Let's have a blast. You got it. That's TV ready. Complete. Research. Complete. 
There I goes. Quiet the whole time. Alright, so. Alright, so what did I see? Let's let's look at the replay. Whew. Faster. So, Reaper Fast Expand uh, stayed on build until I got flustered. So, went ahead and went to full marine production to push back the little bit of pylons he was doing. He didn't actually take the time to kill my expansion or do any damage to it. So, let's take a look at production. He's going on base. He's going. Quick warp gate, he's starting to produce his adepts. Um, that's what I saw. Uh, actually didn't count the pylons that could have or could have been something hiding across the map. But I did see one base. Alright, so I didn't know when he expanded. Looks like he was literally just using this attack to keep me in my base. This was good, it did something. If I look at units lost, um, that's some good damage there. I was supply blocked for a little bit. I had to do mass marines. But those widow mines, they went a long way. Alright, so push that back. Pause. We saw this part of the game. Um, behind that, he went Stargate. Robo. It looks like he knew he needed an observer. Four gates on two bases. Uh, my macro is, is a little more solid than him right now. I have lost a significant number of resources, but my army supply is higher, so I was able to maintain some kind of stability behind that attack. Um, this was unexpected. I think I dealt with it fairly well. If we take a look at the worker count right now, he does have a significant lead, um, and I think that a lot of that was the Oracle. So let's keep this going. I push what did I do with this? Why did I do that? This wasn't my push. There we go. Now I pulled him back. So he's kind of trying to get his army going and his production up. And he's done a pretty good job of hampering me. What? Oh, that was me. That was my thing. But not big enough of a push. Let's take a look at this real quick. Uh, 62 army supply to 58. Marines are nasty, my upgrades have not started, I'm a little behind on those. Um, I could have had shields going a little sooner, but I do push the attack back. He doesn't want to sacrifice everything to it. I'm okay with void rays, and it looks like that's what he's going to keep producing. He's got nothing on gas over there. My gas, uh, a little high. I should find better ways to spend it or not use it. And I was a little slow in utilizing my starport. Probably could have done a switch here on the factory and produced double medevac and had a lot more to it. Mm. Alright, let's go look at that final attack. Because one of my weaknesses is micro. I want to see what I could have done better. So, oh, let's pull that back. I do push aggressively with widow mines. Um, there we go. So I pull him forward as a scout, it actually pulls the adept back. I, I, he must have just saw the army, actually. So I use him a little bit and I run him around. So, this engagement. He's got a couple that are long distance mining, it's about to go, so good. I didn't focus on that as a priority. It was not a priority. He's adding a few extra pylons. Uh, he's got full energy on the mothership core. But it's still the same army, almost practically the same army I just faced, and I have a significant army advantage. Ideally, I think I want to get a widow mine. Widow mine's in good places, up and the top and the bottom of the ramp. And I want to engage all at once. But I do have to funnel through this because I didn't take any time to break down the rocks. So if I push forward. Alright, so here we are. 93 to 74. 
Now I found a good position. I think I'm just A moving right now. Slow it down. Found a chance to push his army back. I realized Stim just finished. At this probably at this moment. So I get him. There we go. Oh, you're so money, Widow Mines. Realize there's nothing there and I have stem and I move up the ramp. My production. I'm producing more marines and one is about to finish. My backer is about to finish. And this is just marines versus immortals. Like I said, I do enjoy the uh, I do enjoy the adept. I think that was a, it was a nicer nerf. Um, earlier to kind of even the playing field with the marines and myself. They're still dangerous, but they don't stay alive very long. They're not the hard counter to, to Terran that they used to be. Without that, uh, without that buff, without that nerf, uh, that ramp push might have been a little more dangerous. But I don't fear the adept. I just know I have to outproduce it early on and make good choices with my marines. So, what's next? We're gonna throw this into GG Tracker. Right? Alright. With this button. Replaced. I hope I never put anything embarrassing in my bookmarks, because I'm just blatantly letting you see them. There we go. I felt good about the spending, but only because I had to produce as much as I could. But it was a little low. Actually, my spending was a little low. Average health bit resources was high enough to make a command center. Alright, and I could have done a lot with that earlier on. That could have been a starport. A second starport, a second factory. Uh, would have really helped to have more medevacs in that fight. So hey, this was episode 52. Um, fairly straightforward game. Fairly straightforward win against Protoss. Um, Army comp, I, I would have enjoyed... More Marauders. I was focused on the Marine production. And even once I had two tech labs, I probably should have been focused on getting my comp, you know, my composition straight. Um, aside from that, that was a good game. Felt good. Felt felt easy. Um, not something I'm, I'm normally... I'm normally beaten by the pylon rush there. That's a good tactic. Uh, it is frustrating uh, to deal with early pressure sometimes from the Protoss especially when they bring over the Mothership Corps. But I uh, drop a couple extra racks. Um, don't sacrifice army units needlessly, because you can't take on those adepts with low number of marines, right? So I have to build up an army in the back, hope he doesn't push up the ramp, and punish him when he does. Um, with two Widow Mines, I think, were the saving grace. So, hey, thanks for watching. This has been uh, episode 52. We're getting up there. Have a wonderful StarCraft day, and we're going to see you back here tomorrow. I don't think I've said it in a while, but please feel free to comment, say mean things, say helpful things, just say something. Say hi. It's great to have you here.